In this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert an ad or any graphic or anything that you like into your WooCommerce product loop. And in this case, we're going to do it in the first um, product slot over here. And we're not going to use any uh, plugins to do it. We're just going to write a, a really simple function. And then we'll be able to pop in uh, this uh, image or anything that you want, really. It could just be text. So to get started, just want to point out to you that I, I'm running Code Snippets, which is a plugin for snippets. And I have created my snippet. I've just said add in first product space in shop, but you can call your snippet anything you want. And then this is the query that we have over here. So before we get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of that. So now we're ready to write the function. So to get the function started, we start with the word function, and I'm just going to call this insert add. Right, and that's all that we need to create the function, and I'm going to save that. Now what we need to do, determine is how we're going to output the value for the ad. Where is it going to go? So because we're looking at a product grid, I'm looking at this visual hook guide made by businessbloomer.com and you'll see they have this very nice uh, visual hook guide and I want to insert this um, ad as the first item in the loop. Now I don't want to do it before the loop because that will be before the sorting appears. I actually want it to be the very first item in the grid. So to do that I want to insert it here before the shop loop item and I'm going to scroll down here and look for before shop loop item and I'm going to copy that and head over here and insert that action on the page and then I'm just going to echo out hello to see if that is actually working and see where it outputs that value so I say echo hello and refresh and let me just have another look here right what we didn't do was replace our function name into the action save and now when we have a look at the output, you'll see that the word hello appears before each post. And if we look at the visual hook guide, we'll see that that is correct. But we want to move it before everything starts. So to do that, um, let's continue building out on, on our function. One of the things I want to do is I only want this ad to display on the first page of the shop, on the shop page. So let's get that in place. So that'll be an if statement and is underscore shop and then we're going to do something so open and close braces let's do that so i'm saying this is only going to work on the shop page right now i want this to um, appear before all the content and i also want it to appear before the first post so what i need to do is access the global a WP query variable information so that I can position this content as the very first item in the loop. So we get the um, the WP query array in the global variable. Now what I want to do is I want to isolate the very first post. So I'm going to say, or in this case, the first post, but it could be any the position of any post. So I'm going to say if and we go global wp underscore query and we say current post and i'm going to say if the current post is in the position zero then do something and that something at the moment will be to echo hello right so the way that it works is zero is actually the first one um, one is actually the second one, two is actually the third one. So the count starts at zero, and I'm going to say echo hello. Right, so now I'm going to save that. And we'll head over to the shop, and we're going to refresh that. And now you'll see that instead of the hello being in every single one, we only have the hello in the very first item. And if we inspect that, and we have a look here, you'll see that the hello is in fact um, included in the very first post. Now I want it to appear before that. So what I'm going to do now is head over to my function 
and now what I'm going to do is you'll see that we have this priority number indicated here which is 10 which is the standard position and because I want it to be the very first item I'm going to change that priority or the position to number 5. So this is actually going to run before the normal product loop um, runs. Now when I say insert and I say hello um, you will see that it still appears there. Now to extract it from that position what I'm going to do is insert an li tag. So I've said if it's in that position and echo hello and I'm also going to echo out Right, so I'm going to say that I want to start the the next product with that um, because it's an ordered list. It'll have that list tag. I hit save, and now when I go over to my shop and I refresh, you'll see that I've separated my content out of the standard loop. So there's the, um, the standard shop, and that that is where my content now resides inside this loop. Uh, what I need to do to this tag now is also apply the same styles. So just a quick one, copy that and and now we've just made sure that the same styles apply to this li tag that I've inserted and I'm going to hit save. And now you'll see that this product now appears with the same formatting as the others. Now what we want to do is insert our ad into the space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this hello. And because everything I'm going to do is now going to be HTML based, I'm basically going to close out PHP and open up PHP again. And I'm going to insert what I would like to insert here. So the first thing that we're going to do then is I'm going to create a div. Right, and we'll just do the opening and closing tags of the div. And what I want to do in that div is I want to put an image. So img src equals. Right, and then to get the image, I'm going to save that. I'm going to head over to my media library. And in my media library, I already have an ad. So that's the ad that I want to drop in there. Uh, it's an animated GIF. So I'm going to copy that URL to my clipboard. And then I'm going to head back here, and in that source, I'm now going to place my ad. We'll hit the save, and head back to the website and refresh. So there you can see we have the ad um, inserted where we'd like it to be on the page. Now maybe I want to move that around. So maybe I want to move that into the next position. I can simply change that value there to a one. And now you'll see that we move it on. And just maybe zoom in a bit there. If I wanted to make that in the fourth position, I would save. And now it'll be in the position four, which is actually the fifth post. And if we look at that on mobile, then you'll have a look that we have the products working as they should. And there we have the ad appearing. If I want to add a um, URL or an href tag to my image, then that would work as standard. So href equals, so that will just link to something else on the website. And, and then if I wanted to link, maybe I want to link it to this um, product. I would just drop that in there and save. Right, and now when I refresh the page, there's actually a link attached, and when I click on it, it'll go through to that particular product. Right, so it fits really nicely, fills the space really nicely, and I can move it around anywhere that I want in my product grid. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed that video, and thank you for watching.